okay so this is regular expression extractor window and we need to provide these fields okay first we will write the regular expression what we got extracted from our uh, response oh i think it got deleted okay let me run it once again authenticate okay so in a home page yeah right so before we have not given this em right so if we don't give this even this will be captured so give it exactly okay so it's my mistake sorry give complete sentence for the username copy complete sentence just uh, before and after our actual desired value okay this is our desired value right give some information before it and give some information after it so place everything in a regular expression like this and if you copy everything from the response so basically it will be like tom smith right now this is dynamic this particular uh, field what i selected is dynamic so that's the reason we are using regular expression by just putting it in a brackets so that uh, jmeter can understand and inside we are writing that any characters okay now test it with regular expression uh, tester option we selected right so match 11 is tom smith this is the exact information what we are looking for okay so copy this and where did we get this we got this in the home page response so that's the reason add a post processor to the home page that means after completing the request execution after getting the response then post we are processing that response regular expression this is our regular expression give any name to it after extracting value tom smith will be extracted right from this expression and give any proper value say user id right so and now uh, template for example in this expressions if you are looking for more than one dynamic value uh, that means if there is other bracket here like this and if i say uh, dot that is plus question mark that means here i am trying to pull out the two variables okay so in that case if you are, if you want to get the second dynamic variable here you need to provide uh, dollar to dollar okay that means basically we are telling our regular expression uh, that i know there are totally more than one brackets that means one dynamic values in your expression give me the second dynamic value so it will interpret and see this bracket and assumes that this is the first variable which it is defined and it will skip that and it select second one okay but in our case we have only this is our uh, just expression right so select template one okay because we are just extracting the first value itself right we are interested in this username and match zero for random however there is only one if for example if there are total four dynamic values and if you don't provide template it it randomly matches any of that from four okay if you use zero value if you give one value it matches the first one cool and default value not required okay understood right so basically the usage of template if you provide zero it selects the random one if you select the one it only selects what you have specifically mentioned in your template and regular expression so be sure that you give one for it or in this case you can give zero also because there is only one regular expression dynamic value right so if it picks random also it will go and pick this one only if there are more than one then the question comes if there is only one expression it's looking for so you provide random or go as a method how template is asking you will find only one and you will get that okay it's up to you if there is only one so this is important if you are if there are total 10 variables and if you are looking for fifth one to extract you can give dollar 5 okay right now it's only one so we gave one okay 
so it's just little bit tricky but there is nothing in it just provide the information and uh, check it so at what variable i am looking at because i have only one and this is the first one uh, tell the uh, in a template field okay grab the first one and this you know it's random or basically one okay so field to check where this should check okay now when we provide this regular expression this extractor is ready to uh, check and get for us but from where its response do we need to get it from response header request header response code where we need to pull it out okay here we are looking at just body right this is the body of the response so that's the reason make sure you select the body checkbox okay apply to for what it needs to apply now this is an basically child processor for this home page okay home page is parent sampler and this is a child sampler but we, we need the response from the home page we need to basically check in the home page response that means parent sampler we need to check so apply to main sampler i mean basically main sampler is our parent sampler this is our home page is the main sampler so select that checkbox okay that's it understood right the fields in this pane one is reference name basically uh, the value will be stored in this variable called reference name okay now the tom smith will be extracted here and it will store in reference name got it now we are sure that uh, it will come and store it in uh, user id reference name but now where i need to use this okay we successfully somehow uh, read the response from the home page okay so we successfully read the response from the home page and from this we got it this username and okay we have used regular expression and we pulled it out the tom smith successfully dynamically we are not hard coding now go and write down here okay this is hard coded value right remove it now here you need to bring the value which you got extracted right for that if you want to this is a variable now okay user id is a variable in which it has tom smith as a value okay tom smith is nothing but which got extracted from this brackets as we are asking dollar template one so tom smith is the value for the variable user id in jmeter if you want to get the value of the variable then you need to write the variable name as dollar open braces copy that oh sorry not this what is the variable name here user id right copy this and paste it here close the brace okay right for regular expression now you need to get the template value of what first one of first one so you need to give underscore g one if you want to get the value from two then give underscore g two okay syntax is basically variable underscore g and the template index here user id is the variable underscore g and index template is one close the braces okay dollar in braces give the value if you go in this way jmeter interprets this user id and grabs the value from this variable we have tom smith right value from it so tom smith will go into this username field that means it will go as a request for the authenticate here okay it will go as a request in this place right now it is hard coded now we have removed the tom smith and we have placed it user id underscore g1 okay and one more if you are not sure about whether the value printed in this is tom smith or not if you want to know clearly there is a concept called debug sampler and in samplers go to sampler field okay see as i told you there are many things here ajp access jms which are related to uh, that domain in this uh, tutorial we are looking how to improve the performance of web testing i mean sorry web application so that's the reason i'm talking all about web concepts here 
so mongodb mail reader ldap so these are different you know technologies we have and jmeter can uh, perform for all this right so but this is intended to a web performance testing okay so there is something called debug sampler okay if you just add this in the output you can see what exactly the value went in this field okay i'll show you uh, let me run this once hopefully this should run if not we'll just debug and let's know uh, what's the problem right regular expression set successfully and we have passed that into user id so observe that there is no tom smith here we are dynamically pulling it from the response okay uh, yeah let's run it now okay uh, we did not get debug sampler information here why okay let me run this again i think script got passed but i'm i'm just looking wondering why we don't get debug sampler output here home page maybe my internet is slow so still loading at home page yeah okay it is slow basically and jmeter where go to debug sampler and go to response this is the where this is the place where jmeter variables will be uh, posted you can see the values what went into the variables as well just add debug sampler thread group right click uh, from the sampler section and go to response and you see here user id underscore g1 equals to tom smith exactly that what we have passed here right user id underscore g1 okay so that's cool that means our script should run successfully now i will open authenticate and see the response request see that tom smith went into the username here we did not hard code anything see if you go to authenticate i just provided user id underscore g1 but it successfully interpreted that and value it went as tom smith and you can see that okay even response you got perfect response saying welcome to secure area okay we have added assertion as well if something goes wrong it will fail it's success okay so that's how you use regular expressions okay now let's do password as well password i am giving you as assignment i mean however i'll do in my next lecture immediate next lecture but just uh, follow this and try to extract password field now we have done username field right till now do same thing for password you will get it if not watch my next lecture but i request you to just give a try so if not watch this the last two lectures 10 times but each reason each and every point and make sure you perform that operation so just basically you will get a confidence on you on you okay if not watch my next lecture and i'll be saying how to get the value of the password in the just similar fashion of what how we did in with the username okay so give it a try no it will be very exciting if we able to do that you know that exciting will be different and it will really boost your confidence okay so that's it for this session thank you